I will come back so in this lesson I am going to create some controllers for this uh, FK controls so let's create some controllers uh, so first what we are going to create is create a controller for this uh, heap so let's create a shape let's go to CV curves tool let's make it one linear okay so let's snap that's what let's grid snap one two three four five okay okay it's not working properly so okay it doesn't matter okay it's just messing up everything so let's create it okay let's just okay okay this is done more so let's create uh, poly primitive cube and let's just snap a vote on it so what we can do is go create a CV curve tool so V 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. okay let's, we have created a save for that so let's delete this okay okay we, okay we have a missing place so let's hit a w let's group it once control G so what why we need to group it uh, just to uh, maintain the local rotation axis with this joint so if we move rotate the rotate it it's just going to uh, rotate uh, as the joints local rotation axis so let's rename it so center is okay so for spine I'm going to create it at IP 01 underscore CC for control curves okay, okay so for group control C control V OFF offset because I don't want uh, the value to be delayed because so let's select the heap JC spine 01 followed by this we'll go to constant and do parent constant okay maintain offset off and add it will snap to the joint so what we can do next is delete this parent constant and just don't delete this value because we are going to need it so let's hit okay go to this control vertex let's position it okay, let's for a while let's mask the joint and IK so let's select control vertex control vertex okay control vertex control vertex let's on hide the bold geo okay what we need to do is R let's create it in a heap and then just manage it ok now we have got a heap control now what we are going to in next is go to object mode I'll go to hide this mesh and select this let's duplicate it control D and let's select the chest okay J. okay let's rename it J followed by J heap constant parent constant so it's going to be up there okay so let's rename it for this time we are going to rename it 
CHEST chest 01 offset ok let's control C enter and let's rename it control V ok let's for ok do not touch this value just don't do its freeze transformation so let's select the control vertex I don't think we are going to need that it's not overlaid so let's just manage the chest control hit R and I think I placed the joint on a wrong okay it's perfect up here okay so let's create the way it look nice on the character let's just object mode okay we've created a two control okay let's place it a little up control vertex so w and let's create it up here okay so what we need next is create a two fk controller so let's go and create a circle okay and control g group it and rename it okay let's copy this name put this name spline cc spline 0 1 fk and let's bring this 0 1 up in the end okay, 0 1 okay so control c control v underscore offset because it, it is going to create an offset for that and control duplicate this another time okay let's not duplicate for a while so let's go and select spine fk 0 2 followed by spine 1 let's do a parent constant okay okay so it's going to be so let's manage this let's go to knob circle it's history is not deleted let's put it to 0 and let's put the x value to 1 so it just parented the way we want it okay so let's delete its parent constant because we already have got the value what we needed up here so let's duplicate this so let's select spine 3 uh, constant parent okay so we forget to check those LRH so let's display it. okay thank god the LRI LRI is in the right position so okay so let's delete its parent constant and let's rename this spine FK02 okay let's rename it to spine fk 0 2 okay i missed it out 0 2 so what we are going to do next is create a parent so we select this one followed by uh, hip jc okay what we have got here parent constant okay okay I got it so let's select this and select uh, FK and it constant parent okay element and offset okay okay let's select heap and then FK go to constant parent so what this does it okay move along so i think i've done a wrong thing so let's select the heap let's delete its parent constant so let's because what we have done is in a wrong way because our parent constant it with 
fkjc so let's move along with that so let's delete the parent constant so let's select the heap cc and heap and go to constant and parent okay, go to the option box hit maintain offset and hit parent what this does it it created a okay this kind of control so now what we're going to do is we're going to select this one and we're going to go to spline fk02 and go to constant orient because we just need to do orient okay magnitude offset and we, we just need to rotate this according we don't need this to move if you want you can make it movable uh, it will give you more control but i just prefer to use not to move it so go to spline 02 go to fk3 go to constant and orient okay now with this selected what this does it okay let's just parent this joint let's select this jc where is it jc okay it's going to be I think it's parent constant by this one okay no I I'm not getting keep chest it's not moving along this okay let's delete it once again it's parent constant by FK C spine okay so let's go okay so what we can do is we can select this chest JC followed by spine on zero four and go to constant and let's hit a parent constant add Okay. let's not hit a parent constant up here so what the result do is let's okay this is not controlling the joints but while we move this we need to control this and other two so let's delete the parent constant from here let's select the chest followed by chest JC followed by that control curves let's parent it underneath here so what happened is when we move this controller okay it goes along with it but the problem is when we move this one it is not moving in proper way okay. see it's still up here so what we can do is we can select this let's hit up arrow and let's select this one fk02 and its parent so now what we can get is now we can get this print and from this controller we still can control okay translate okay now what happened is when we do this this is this has been controlled but when we move this one okay it's not controlling anything so what we can do is select this, select its offset, and then select the spline F and hit P. So now the result you get is okay. Okay. Okay, you're getting a good result. So what happened? We if we move this, okay. Just the body is moving, not IK or FK joint it is controlling the way we want so next is we are going to create a control coz cog so while mo we move that cog we can control the upper body so let's create it so let's go to um, cv curve tool let's okay, it's this. let's it's x on your keyboard one two three four five okay so 
let's group it control G and so let's rename this curve control P okay let's see let's rename it COG01 okay so control C con control B to its group and create offset OFF offset so so we just can go and let's let's spine so the orientation axis match with the joints so hit a parent constant of its maintain offset ratio and add so now what happened it's accurate in the position so let's delete it the parent constant we didn't need it don't forget to delete it otherwise you will get a cycle error so let's select this one okay followed by this one and let's just manage it let's okay okay so you can go into the front view or a side view and just manage it in a perfect way okay okay so it's in a perfect way okay so let's move the X so that okay I'm just not going to work too much for that I'm just lazy for those kind of things so let's make it like this so and scale it up so it can fit even more perfectly so what we can do now is select this one okay why we have created this is we just going to select this one okay it's offset and go hit select this one hit P and select this one I go to hit up arrow it will select its offset node and select this one and hit P so what the result we are getting now is if we move this we are going to move all of those okay and if you're going to move this way we are going to move all of those and still see we are maintaining the offset so if we just move this one we are going to get this kind of control you okay it would have been better if I I would ha I have shown you a skin character so just the skin temporary skin the character hit a streak dot jj it will select all the jj joints which uh, we need to bind with the skin followed by okay q okay q followed by the character go to skin bind skin smooth bind okay selected joint closes on hand to multiple bind okay so now now what we're going to get is okay okay hit five on your keyboard e okay we need to we'll go to go and need to skin this joint properly okay after the skin you know the result okay so it's not moving the up part because we haven't parented yet so let's go and let's just so it's the way you rig the spine so I think you have got a note so you can just create you can also create stretchy spine so we can do one thing more we can create a twist control so let's select the IK let's hide the IK okay in next lesson I am going to show you how to create a twist because while we move our body we get a twist if we move this the joint will be twisted in its own axis so I am going to show you how to create those controllers okay so let's wrap up this chapter